I'm a game developer, or at least I was before last week when Unity decided to set fire to the entire industry and threaten my whole livelihood, causing countless sleepless nights. So I decided to leave the Unity Partner Program and set my eyes to New Horizons. But as I sat there staring at these New Horizons, I was presented with so many options that I just decided to go back to bed. But in the midst of my sleep, I awoke in a cold sweat with a bright beacon of hope shining upon me. The Godot game engine, an open source pillar of solitude. So I decided to try and make a game in Godot in just 24 hours. I've never used Godot before, so this one's gonna be difficult. So how do you learn a new engine? Well, I don't actually know, but I figured that it couldn't be hard. So I went live on my Twitch hey, chat. and decided to just wing it. I took off my sock and there was this huge rash. I was able to get a player to move around the screen. Then I made a camera and here's all of that put together. Great, so I'm basically Nintendo at this point. So we might as well start to make a game. Get this. A game, but helicopters. The first thing we need for a game about helicopters is, um, uh, somewhere in here. Um, uh, helicopters. So I went online and found a realistic helicopter model to use as a reference. I then got to work on modeling the helicopter. It looks okay, but something is definitely missing. Yep, that's much better. So I pulled the helicopter into Godot and then realized that I had no clue what to do next and questioned my sanity for probably a bit too long. <sighs> I am a game developer. <sighs> I am a game developer. I am speed. Wait, what? Anyway, so I got collisions working and now it's time to code the helicopter movement. I started by making the propellers rotate and then added an upwards force when you hold down the spacebar. And that's it for the helicopter. See that, here, this bit, this doesn't make any sense to me. Like, I mean, surely you understand that helicopters can move in any direction, not just up and down. They're omnidirectional, even if that's a word you understand. God I've damn it, Tice! I didn't ask for your input. Oh, uh, don't mind him. He, he hasn't slept in days because of the whole Unity thing. And also his computer keeps turning on every now and then, like automatically. It happened last night and he saw it as a sign because he thought he saw the Godot logo. I'm pretty sure it was just his wallpaper. That... Get back to yep, editing the video I'm, and I'm stop bothering I'm doing me. That. Anyway, Ty's race some really good points. So I added some thrust to the helicopter and then tried to make it rotate. Please just work. All right, so the helicopter seems to be working fine. The only big problem right now is that our helicopter looks like it was made out of Play-Doh. So I made it look shiny, added a grass floor, and now it looks a lot better. I think. Next up, we need some gameplay. I decided for this game, we'd have a load of buildings scattered around the map, and then you could go and put out the fire in your helicopter. The only catch, you'd have less and less time to find the fire. Otherwise, it's game over. I started by finding some building models online. Normally I'd do this myself, but seeing as we only have, oh my God, 12 hours. I spent 12 hours making that. I threw one of the buildings into the game and then realized I couldn't be bothered modeling a road system. So that's when the genius idea hit me. Fog. I then needed to randomly place the buildings around the map. I googled around for a bit before finding this algorithm that allows you to distribute points around, uh, uh, yeah. Anyway, we now have building spot. No, no we don't. Now we have building spawning. And that looks a lot better than I thought it would. However, it took me four hours, meaning I only have eight more hours to finish this entire game. Next up, we need to choose a random building, spawn a ray really high up in the sky, shoot it down, and wherever it collides, spawn a fire. I got that working, but I don't know about you, but that doesn't look like a fire to me. So I decided to learn Blender's particle system, nope, Godot's particle system, and make some nice looking fire. All right, so now we've got fire spawning, but no way to put it out. So I started to work on modeling some nozzles for the helicopter in Blender. The idea behind these nozzles is that we can shoot water directly down from the helicopter, similar to the flood in Mario Sunshine. For the water, I looked online seeing as I have no clue how shaders in Godot actually work, and I found a tutorial by Ms. Anyway, I got it to look cool in game. But before I show you the result, if you're thinking, how? Fear not. I'm giving the source code of this game to all of my YouTube members. It's like $2, you get a ton of rewards from my past games, like this penguin model, uh, and everything from this game. I'm also throwing my Godot theme in there, and I'll be quite honest, if you want to cancel after a month, I couldn't care less what you do with the rewards. You could sell the entire game at a street market in Bangladesh, and I wouldn't bat an eye. 
So yeah, it helps me out a lot. There's also some higher tiers with cooler rewards if you want to support me more. And of course, if you can't afford it, then subscribing is more than enough. We're almost at 200k and I have some cool stuff planned. So thank you. All right, so the nozzles seem to be working as intended. I also made it so that putting out a fire will move the fire to a new building. Great, we basically have a game now. So the next thing we're gonna need is some UI. I found a UI tutorial online, bashed my head a few times, but eventually got it to work. So you can now see how far away from a fire you are. I then added a timer, which gets reset every time you put out a fire to add some chaos to the game. And the final thing we need to add is sound effects. So I found a couple of sound effects that I thought would work nicely, like a propeller sound, as well as a waterfall sound when you're spraying your nozzle. I then polished up the game by adding some different materials to the building. Well, this looks shit. So I changed them all to one color and added some shiny windows and it started to look a lot better. Then the final thing I did was find some music from Context Sensitive, my beloved. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I really don't know how to do this. And there we have it, a finished game. You can play it at the link in the description. I just wanted to add, leaving Unity was not an easy decision. I decided to not go to Unite this year or continue with any of my previous sponsorships. In the past, I believed that Unity was the best engine for beginners, and that's why I focused and promoted it. But I don't think that's the case anymore. So I'm sorry if any of you started to use Unity because of me and now feel lost, but I'm hoping that by shining light on other engines and going down this route, that it will give some of you guys some hope. My number one priority will always be getting you guys into game development. Anyway, I'll see you soon. Peace.